I'm George Ratziu, Manager of Economic Research with Realtor.com. We are moving toward mid-February and facing fast-moving changes. COVID cases and hospitalizations are quickly declining, pointing toward a post-pandemic future. Economic momentum continues, while clouds are gathering from high inflation, consumer debt and affordability challenges. Consumer borrowing continued rising in December. After paying down debt in 2020, Americans borrowed more in 2021 for car purchases, higher education expenses and general credit card purchases. Increased consumer borrowing was also reflected in the latest data on real household debt, which topped $15 trillion in the third quarter of last year. With rising prices across the board, people assume more debt for home mortgages and auto loans, among other things. Speaking of rising prices, the Consumer Price Index showed strong acceleration in January, outpacing market expectations with the largest gain since February 1982. With higher living costs, Americans are getting financially squeezed from multiple directions. Rising inflation is putting pressure on the Federal Reserve to enact more aggressive monetary changes in the months ahead. High inflation is also impacting small businesses across the country. The NFIB Small Business Optimism Index slipped in January to an 11-month low. Over 60% of small companies had to raise prices, the highest share since 1974. Meanwhile, initial jobless claims declined for the third consecutive week to the lowest level since late December. Real estate markets remain active, but rising mortgage rates are sapping affordability. Rates jumped this week, with the rate for the 30-year fixed loan reaching the highest level in two years. Today's buyers of a medium-priced home are paying over $270 more on their monthly payment, adding over $3,200 to their yearly expenses. In turn, mortgage applications to purchase a home declined last week, as many first-time buyers were priced out of the market. Realtor.com's January housing data shows that home price growth accelerated due to shrinking inventory. The trend continued in February, as our weekly data highlight the strong demand and tight supply, which led to further pickup in price growth. Realtor.com released several more reports this week. Our analysis of the gap between new home construction and household formations shows we are short close to 6 million new homes at the start of 2022. Without more building, we'll continue to struggle with affordability in the next few years. Speaking of affordability, we published two reports looking at black home ownership and home buyers. The analysis underscores the significant challenges black families continue to face from mortgage underwriting and home appraisals to affordability, leading to the lowest home ownership rate across all races and ethnic groups. Stay well this week and keep an eye on the latest data at our website and Twitter feed.